Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. It's by staying with the breath continually that you really make a change in the mind. If you just visit it every now and then, or come back and go away, come back and go away, it doesn't have quite the same power as when you stay with it. This is a principle that works through all the good qualities that we're trying to develop. Virtue, concentration, discernment. It's when they're continuous that they're really helpful. One of the Johns and Tyler makes a comparison with a fence around your house. If there's a big hole in one side of the fence, then you might as well not have the fence. It does provide some protection, but that big hole is going to provide the opportunity for all kinds of un unwelcome things to come into the house. And the same with your virtue, your concentration, and your discernment. If there is a big hole in it someplace, then it's not going to have the protective power that you want. It's not going to be able to keep you from suffering. So this is a principle we want to think about here. It is the end of the year and the beginning of a new year. Think about all the good things you want to continue. And you also might want to reflect on the things in the past year that were not so good, the, thing, the era times when you were unskillful. And you make up your mind. Okay? Even though you get older with each passing year, you can, the mind can actually get better, it can get wiser. That's the ideal trade-off. The real waste in life is when people get older but they don't get wiser, they don't reflect on their actions to figure out what went well, that they really want to continue, and what didn't go so well that they really ought to change. And of course, as you get older, it gets harder and harder to change. So you've got this opportunity right now to sort of reflect on the past year and make plans for the next year about the good things you want to do. Every year they draw those pictures of the little baby, the new year, the little baby, and this really old, battered-up old man. That's the old year. And we know that little baby is going to be a battered old man by the end of the year as well. Every year you look at the, the science magazines and they give you a rundown, okay, what were the disasters we had this year? Well, there's not a year without disasters. What does make a difference is what you bring to your life, the decisions you make, the areas where you're virtuous, where you weren't virtuous before, where your concentration is more continuous, where you used to have big gaps, or where you apply your discernment in areas where you weren't all that discerning. You want to make these qualities continuous. Because as the Buddha said, when he, we talked about an auspicious day, it doesn't depend on the stars and it doesn't depend on anything like that. What it depends is on how you're training your mind, the condition of your mind in the day. If the mind's in good condition, it's an auspicious day. Well, it's the same way with the, the new year. Train your mind to be in good shape and it's going to be a good new year. The year itself may turn out to be a battered old man by the end, but your mind doesn't have to be battered. The mind can get stronger and brighter. As long as you keep your mind on the practice, keep it in mind and realize okay, there's, there's always room to improve and you're happy to improve. That's the right attitude to have. So one of the reasons we meditate is to give strength to that attitude so it's not just a w wishful idea or a nice but impractical idea, that it, has, it actually is the driving force in your decisions. So try to make your concentration strong because it's got to support a lot of a lot of decisions throughout the year. 